Hey athletes, Chris here from ASM Scholarships and today's video we're asking the question, do junior colleges or the, as we know as the NJCAA offer full ride scholarships? Let's find out. ASM is such an amazing company to be working with. They've got me so many opportunities. After my profile went live, it only took two days for Lloyd to present me with a few offers. I've been working with ASM for the last month and it has been amazing. Couldn't have done this without your help. Thank you for everyone at the team, George, Chris, Joe, everyone. And I would like to thank ASM for connecting me to college coaches. Junior colleges, is it something you should consider? What are they? How do they work? And we'll get into if they offer you four ride scholarships, the most important part of it. So the reason why most people would consider a junior college is because you didn't get into a division one or division two school straight away. Or like myself, because I went to junior college myself, is I had ambitions of getting to Stanford or UCLA. These are my kind of dream schools, Florida State, uh, University of Florida was another one. But I started my recruiting process too late. And pretty much 90% of athletes who start the recruiting process too late, you lose the opportunity to get into a D1 school. So you're left with either Division IIs or junior colleges or the NIA. So doing a junior college for two years gives you the chance to get in the system, get your results, get your education, because you are going to do two years of university work. It isn't just because it's called college doesn't mean any of those credits actually count towards your university, they actually all count. So when you do two years of junior college, you're literally gonna transfer all those two years of education to your next school and complete your degree and do two more years. You'll do four years. It's not like you do two years at junior college, transfer to a division one or two, and then do another four years, it becomes six. It's not like that at all. You do two years at junior college, and you can do two years at division one or two or the NIA, and you'll finish with your bachelor degree. So you're not losing time or wasting time. It's actually a great way to get additional exposure to these big D1s and D2s, especially if you start a recruitment process late like I did. A lot of athletes do it as well because they have dreams like myself of getting to a school like Stanford or UCLA, but maybe at the time when you're recruiting, you could start the process early. You just don't have the attributes that these D1 coaches are looking for. So junior colleges can be a great way to improve your stats academically or sporting wise to get these bigger universities actually interested in you so you can get their attention and get recruited to them later on. Now, here in America, there are 986 junior colleges pretty much across every state of the US. Pretty much every state will have a junior college in their state. Now, it depends what sport you're playing. Obviously, if you're playing like a golf or a tennis, you wanna be somewhere warm and sunny, so you're gonna pick states like Florida, Texas, Alabama, places like this. Uh, but if you're playing indoor sports and like basketball, football, some of the best programs are in the north of the states, like New York, uh, Michigan, places like this. Now, they do work under two different governing bodies. So you have the NJCAA, which pretty much does the whole estates, with the exception of California, which has the triple CAA, which just looks after junior colleges in California. All the same, still two year institutions where you're gonna transfer after two years. Now, can you do just one year and transfer? Yes, but it depends on your academic requirements. If you have a good academic history, it'll be easier to transfer after one year. If you basically failed high school, uh, you're gonna to have to do the whole two years. So and again, depending on sport, you sometimes want to do the two years, it makes it easier for you to transfer to a bigger school later on. Uh, if you're getting a lot of interest from coaches in your first year, you're probably going to get out of there after one year and get straight to the D1 or D2 program where, where you want to go. But the all important question is, do they offer full ride scholarships? That's what you've come here to find out. So let's find out. I'm going to go ask my team because I have an expert team who basically speaks to colleges every single day. And junior college is one of the ones that we speak to a lot. So let's go talk to Fabs and ask him. All right, let's go ask Fabian in our placement team working away. He has no idea what about I'm going to say to him. Hello, Fabs, how are you? Good, Chris, how are you? Firstly, now? how did you get that black eye? Playing some rugby. Rugby? Yeah. Not a bar fine. fight? No, 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 no. Good stuff. So, we are trying to help athletes out. Can you get a full ride to a junior college? Yes, you can, Chris. Full ride, everything paid for? Absolutely. So, what does it actually include? What does a full ride actually include in that scholarship? So full ride will cover your tuition, so your, all your studying costs, housing, meals, any athletic training, travel, kit, all of that stuff. When you say travel, does it say I'm from Germany and I've got to get my Lufthansa air ticket to California, will they pay for that flight? They won't pay for the flight. I'm talking kind of when you're part of the team and you've got to travel 
you know, across states or for nationals or something like that. It's all covered through the team. Right. So the everything in the team. So basically, you got to cover your visa, your flights, but everything else is going to be covered. Yeah, visa, flights, like exam costs, maybe application to the university, but that's about it. Got it. And how easy is it to get a full ride scholarship? Not easy, or everyone would do it. But you yeah. know, if you've got the right backing, the right people working with you. Um, you're talented, you want to go to junior college to progress to, you know, maybe a division one, division two university, there's definitely full rides out there. How good do you kind of have to be to get a full ride? Um, Come on, man, give, give him some tips here. How good, how, let's give a benchmark of if you got this and this type of sports level, academic level, you'll be then in a higher bracket to get a full ride. Yeah, it obviously depends on different sports, but, you know, if you're... I'd say just kind of playing state or provincial or county, what they call kind of level for your sport. Um, if you're competing in some high level tournaments like national, it doesn't have to be international events, um, you're definitely gonna get some very good looks at a full ride. So like if you're, let's, let's pick soccer for example, if you're coming out of like Bayern Munich Youth Academy or Chelsea Youth Academy, that'd be like the ideal situation, right? Absolutely. Got yeah. it, and if you're a golfer, like you're a good wagger ranking, say what, 3000 better, that would be kind of like a good benchmark. 100%. 100%. Got it. Thank you, Fabs. We'll see you again soon. All good. Look Glad after, that, look Glad after Glad that, that black eye. Get some ice on it. <laughs> so there you go. We spoke to Fabian and the team, and he gave you some good tips on how to get a full ride scholarship to a junior college. Again, the better your sports level is going to be with good academics, it's always going to increase your chances. But if you can't get a full ride, to junior college, you can still get a partial scholarship, which is, can still cover anywhere from 50% plus, uh, even to like 95, 96%. Now, if you are in a partial scholarship to a junior college, you can apply for a full ride year two, so it's not the end of the world if you don't get a full ride, but obviously good results, good academics, whilst you're junior college your first year, what they call here the freshman year, will help a coach consider to giving you a better scholarship year two. Guys, I hope this video helped, uh, and if you did like it, please subscribe, give us a like, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.